the boobs grow a lot. For some women, they get smaller, but there are some women that when you gain weight, your boobs grow. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, and other yeah, yeah. women that when you have children and you breastfeed, your boobs grow. And they like many other female celebrities, Salma Hayek's body has been a source of constant interest and scrutiny for the public. The obsession over her appearance is so famous that there have been several pieces and discussions about it. The actress herself has been on some shows where she had to say something or the other about her body. Clearly, she is proud of her appearance and is never afraid to show a little skin in movies when her roles call for it. Her bust size is particularly famous because, according to photos of her over the years, it has gotten bigger and bigger. Well, here, we will also reveal some of the details we were able to uncover about Salma Hayek's body measurement. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, kindly touch the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. Before we go on, we have to give some background information about who our celebrity in this video is. Salma Hayek Pinault was born Salma Valgarma Hayek Jimenez on September 2, 1966. On the surface, she is a Mexican-American actress and producer. She began her career in Mexico with starring roles in the 1989-1991 telenovela series Teresa as well as the 1995 romantic drama El Callejón de los Milagros, for which she received an Ariel Award nomination. The actress soon established herself in Hollywood with appearances in films such as the 1995 Desperado, 1996's From Dusk Till Dawn, Wild Wild West in 1999, and Dogma in the same year. Her portrayal of painter Frida Kahlo in the 2002 biographical film Frida, which she also produced, made her the first Mexican actress to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress and additionally earned her Golden Globe Award, Screen Actors Guild Award, and British Academy Film Award nominations. In subsequent years, Hayek focused more on producing while starring in the action-centered pictures Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003, After the Sunset, 2004, and Banditas, 2006. She achieved further commercial success with the comedies Grown Ups, 2010, Grown Ups 2, 2013, and The Hitman's Bodyguard, 2017. As a voice actress, she lent her voice for the animated Puss in Boots, 2011, The Pirates, 2012, and Sausage Party, 2016. She has also received critical acclaim for her performances in the drama's Tale of Tales, 2015, Beatrice at Dinner, 2017, and House of Gucci in 2021 alongside Lady Gaga. She played Ajak in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Eternals, 2021, which has become her highest grossing live action film so far. Hayek's directing, producing, and acting work on television has earned her four Emmy Awards nominations. She won the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Directing in a Children's Special for the Maldonado Miracle, 2004, and received two Primetime Emmy Award nominations, one for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series and the other for Outstanding Comedy Series, for her work on the ABC television comedy drama Ugly Betty, which aired from 2006 to 2010. She also produced and played Minerva Mirabelle in the Showtime film In the Time of the Butterflies, 2001, and guest starred on the NBC comedy series 30 Rock, which aired from 2009 to 2013. As a public figure, Hayek has been cited as one of Hollywood's most powerful and influential Latina actresses as well as one of the world's most beautiful women by various media outlets. She is married to business magnate François-Henri Pinault, with whom she has a daughter, Salma is considered to be one of the hottest ladies in Hollywood. She has a fabulous physique, but she thanks her genes for the better part of it. The actress once revealed that she does only five minutes of exercise, for which she is even hardly consistent. Of course, sometimes, she formulates an intense workout routine to get the desired shape for a role. Yet, she rarely sticks to the regime. So, her enviable figure is mostly natural. Or is it? There have been rumors that the actress got a bust job done to increase the size. When I got pregnant and when I'm in menopause, a lot of people say that I had breast augmentation. I don't blame them. Yeah. My boobs were smaller. Right. So was the rest of my body. 
but they just have kept growing. Wow. wow. Many- While she has always chosen to ignore the side talks, she claims to understand why the rumors are spreading. Yes, you heard right. The Mexican has noticed the changes in her rack size as well, but it is not because of an implant. The hot 50 plus actress once went on the red table talk to address the issue. She was in the episode with host Jada Pinkett, her mother, Adrian Banfield Norris, and daughter Willow Smith. The actress bared it all out, explaining how life changes affect a woman's body and why hers is nothing new. Got pregnant and when I'm in menopause, a lot of people say that I had breast augmentation. I don't blame them. Yeah. My boobs were smaller. Right. So was the rest of my body. But they just have kept growing. Wow. Many, many sizes. Wow. And my back has been really suffering from it. Wow. From her statement, it is clear that the times people have noticed a change in her boobs was after something significant. In her case, her breast doesn't stop growing and only has the strength to grow more following a pregnancy and the recent surge after menopause. Based on her breast size and body weight, Salma also revealed she is not enjoying the big boobs. Talk about this. Right. I didn't even know that that could occur. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. What about mood swings? I have gone through those periods. Maybe I still am, but you gotta kind of notice and take a deep breath. Selma Hayek also gave women advice on symptoms to expect with menopause. Are you gaining a lot of weight really fast that doesn't go away no matter what you do? Are you shrinking? Right. And then they ask you, is your vagina dry? When she hit 40, for example, she recalls having started experiencing symptoms of menopause but didn't know it at that time. She got the rundown after filling out a questionnaire following her signs. The question was a mix of real and terrifying questions any woman would feel uncomfortable answering. Despite going through all these, the mom of one tries to remain positive, stating, I have gone through those periods, I still kind of am, but you got to kind of notice those moments and took a deep breath and kind of say, okay, it'll pass. Selma is always passionate about advocating for women. She is of a strong opinion that neither menopause nor childbirth should define a woman's life. A post on WebMD backs Selma Hayek's claims of breast increase and menopause. Hayek advises women who feel they must fit into societal standards. We have the right to be loved for who we are at the place that we are. We're not just here to make babies, we're not just here to baby the men. We're not just here to service everything and everyone around us. We could talk all we want about Salma Hayek's supposed implant and body measurements, but a story about boobs that stars the actress will hit your screens from HBO Max. Salma revealed that a series is developing, focusing on a 40-year-old woman with boobs that suddenly starts to speak. This turns her life around, or in another context, upside down in the comedy series. The show is to be titled A Boob's Life, an adaptation of the novel A Boob's Life, how America's Obsession Shaped Me. And you. In an official statement, Salma gave more insight into the series in A Boob's Life. We use breasts as a metaphor for the constant judgment women are submitted to, creating a collective sensation that no matter what we do, we are never enough. In this show, we give the breast a voice that takes us through a woman's life from a unique perspective that often we don't dare to see. We hope the series leaves us as excited as the actresses for the project. This isn't the first time celebrities get accused by their fans of going under the knife. For Salma, she has always been a beautiful woman with her Hispanic genes to be grateful for. Salma Hayek's boobs have looked different over the years, but there seems to be no plastic surgery at work. With such a fantastic body, it is easy to believe she has had some cosmetics procedures done. She has managed to rule out doubts the fans might be having for years, so we can all agree with her for now unless something changes. I was like, oh, I would, yes, I was like, I was looking in the mirror, I said, okay, I'm in character, but you just wait for the premieres. (laughs) Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydamex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.